Welcome to a brief introduction to Hydra and a tailored demonstration for how Hydra software and services can help track projects and orders, improve visibility and predictability of revenue recognition, and importantly, standardize and define best practices across the quote to cash lifecycle. We'll be talking about these three main themes in Hydra. A simple to use yet powerful project and resource management feature set, interactive reporting and business intelligence, and a key feature for Hydra, the definition of best practices. This includes pre-built knowledge and governance, helping you to standardize and improve how you deliver your projects. We call this blueprinting. Let's explore what we'll be covering in the demonstration itself. Using Hydra, we'll focus on two key areas, revenue forecasting and revenue assurance. Using Hydra, you'll be able to increase the visibility of your revenue and with planned targets for delivery, get a better picture of your revenue over time. Using Hydra to capture data each time you deliver a new order, you'll also gain better accuracy and predictability for future work as well. For revenue assurance using Hydra, tracking the progress of work, managing by exception, and importantly, having visibility of any gaps in information throughout the order lifecycle is essential. As Hydra has an ability to compare one delivery to the next, it's important to understand that Hydra can help you identify weaknesses in your processes and using the data captured, improve your processes over time, reducing the risk and variability. We'll talk about revenue forecasting and revenue assurance as we go, whilst demonstrating a powerful set of Hydra features, but used in a simple way. The flow of the demonstration could assume that a new order has just come in and a new project is created in Hydra automatically. Now a new project in Hydra isn't just a blank container. We have our powerful blueprints feature that's a definition of all your best practices so the project manager and by extension the resources never start from scratch. This includes pre-built task structures, knowledge and guidance, document templates, approval processes, project checkpoints, and defined project deliverables, all coming together to help you standardize how you run your projects using Hydra. You can also define risk in advance using the blueprint, so your team can focus on common risks and always be prepared for them with a mitigation strategy. To complement this, the Hydra Assured Success team can be available to help you identify areas for improvement in your best practice and help evolve and improve it over time. The person responsible for overseeing this new order will get an email informing them that they're ready to go in Hydra and will progress through the life cycle of the demo from there. We'll look at the deliverables we need to work with on this project and very simply assign resources to high level work to track the progress. We'll continue and see how easy it is for someone to see what work they have to perform and look at some more benefits the pre-built blueprint provides, such as the guides, checklists, and required documents. We'll take a look at tracking the deliverables in a project that are key to driving revenue recognition. And we'll also take a look at the visibility of all projects being overseen by numerous people. Finally, we'll take a look at some pre-built reports showing some simple examples. So with that, let's move on and show Hydra in action. Here we are in Hydra. It's a modern, real-time interface that's accessible globally anywhere you have an internet connection. The sections across the top will tell you what you can access and include some key ones that we'll look at in this session, such as the MySpace area, showing every user what work they need to do and what projects they're involved in, for example. The Project Management Office, or PMO area, to view and track all projects. The Project area for all of the project management features, the resources section to manage resources and view what re your resources are working on. And we also have the blueprint section. This is where your best practice can be defined and improved. As mentioned before, the blueprint is your definition of how you deliver your projects, orders and services. It enables you to standardize how you do things and constantly capture the reality of what's happened to iterate and improve over time. We'll have a look at how some aspects of a predefined blueprint, such as the task guides, checklists, risks, deliverables, and document templates are automatically available just by using Hydra. 
Finally, there's the reporting section that we'll take a look at too. So in this scenario, we've assumed that a new work order has been automatically created in Hydra. Once it was created, I would have received an email to let me know it's ready to go for me. Opening that, we're now in the project area. From here, we could see any custom information we need to know about this project or order, such as a reference number or a contact from the finance team, for example. We can also see our pre-built schedules, risks, deliverables, and finances. Deliverables in Hydra are the definition of the products and services we could deliver for a particular order and project. These are defined in the blueprint with pre-configured processes, costs, revenue expectations, custom fields, and a wealth of other benefits. Hydra will help you define your best practice from the outset, and our Assured Success team will help you evolve them over time. Let's move on and see what our schedule looks like. As our project has come pre-built, we already have a starting point. This structure can be as simple or as complex as we like. These are project tasks, but we can also build our plan up based on standard deliverables to reflect small project work or even large projects. These could be ERP server installations or migrations. In fact, anything can be defined. To keep this a straightforward example, we have a very simple plan here. We can do all of the usual project management activity in here such as adding new tasks, maybe changing dates, and reorganizing work. What this is showing us is project tasks. Perhaps we might control some of the order lifecycle processes in here. What we can also do is plan in and therefore track the deliverables we're working on for this particular order too. If we take a look here, we can see that the order has been pre-populated with what we need to deliver. In this case, it's an ERP server installation and also installations for a development and a test server too. These are deliverables defined in the blueprint. If we want, we could add in other deliverables to the mix as well. But for now, let's just plan in these items we need to deliver. We can see the delivery date for this deliverables installation by changing the start date. We can also see that Hydra is suggesting that this needs to be done by a particular type of person. Let's assign a real person to this. In this instance, I'll assign myself, but you could assign anybody. I'll also assign myself to a few more tasks here. Let's move on and see what a resource would see after they've been assigned to some work. But before that, we need to make our project live. We've been working with it in a draft state so far, so any changes that we make are not final or visible until we make it live. Once the project is live, the resources assigned to work will get an email to let them know what they need to do. You can see their work very easily in Hydra or in an Outlook calendar if needed. To see my work, I can go to the My Assignments area, which is designed to give me a simple display. You could also see this information using the Hydra mobile app. I can see which order or project I'm working on, and what deliverable I need to work on as well. I see when it's due, and perhaps whether any documents need to be provided. One very handy feature is a pre-built guide for each task here shown directly from the blueprint. This can be configured to show text, images, and videos, so a resource knows exactly what they need to do, or what process to follow to complete this task perfectly. This is a critical aid in helping organizations standardize what they do. So, let's say we've taken the guidance and finished this piece of work. You can submit timesheets in Hydra, but it may be simpler to just indicate the percentage progress of a piece of work. Let's complete a few tasks. You'll notice this task has an approval process for it, which is great to help govern the quality of work delivered using Hydra. In this case, I could send the completed task off to a peer or even a customer to approve it. As Hydra is generating real-time information, we can instantly see the progress of a project. So let's go back to our plan. 
Here, we can see the progress of a project down to a deliverable and a task level. We can see the planned and actual values. Earn value can also be seen here, built into Hydra. So we could use that to drive revenue recognition calculations, for example. We can also see from a cost and revenue perspective too, showing the budgeted, planned and actual revenue gives you a quick glance of revenue progress. In the deliverable section, we can see a tracker for the progress of each of our server installations with real-time progress and an automated state based on the work the resource is completing. The project manager never has to manually manage the data. The progress and state are automatically updated whenever work is complete. You can also see custom fields for the deliverables, such as each line item's ID or billing reference, perhaps a physical location, build status, or maybe the responsible finance department contact. We can also see some more detailed finances for the project itself. Based on the delivery of deliverable tasks, we can see estimates and actuals for revenue and a cash flow as well. We can, of course, produce detailed and powerful reporting based on the data held in Hydra to provide reports in a format you desire. For example, seeing where gaps in data exist, like a missing order reference or billing reference, for example. You could also produce reports to see which billing period the revenue for deliverables in this case, the servers we're installing falls into. If, for instance, the installation of a server spans a revenue period, you could normalize that revenue into a different period. Let's take a look quickly at the Project Management Office section. We can review all the projects that are being prepared in draft, live, those are the in-progress projects, and also for any historical closed projects. We can see the individuals responsible for these projects and from here take a look at the progress, cost and revenue for them. These kinds of views in Hydra are designed to be collaborative, enabling you to talk to your project managers and discuss the real-time data with them. The progress section, for example, shows us plan versus actuals and perhaps the time entered on a project. The cost and revenue tab shows some project level financial information. The revenue section shows the actual revenue for all of your projects. And finally, the checkpoints view gives you a great glance where all your projects and the checkpoints sit on a timeline. Now let's take a quick look at the resource workload view. It may be of interest to have visibility of what all of your resources are doing at any given time. This view allows you to see this on a per person basis taking a look at the utilization and allocated hours for resources across any time period you'd like. The resources area is also important to manage the skills that you have in your organization, so Hydra can help you identify the best resources for your project. In addition to many of the views in Hydra showing you this information, we can also take advantage of some pre-configured reports. To show some examples, let's go to the reports section. In here, you can view reports on all of the projects and orders you're fulfilling, or look at a particular one. In this case, let's look at everything. In this dashboard, you can see all the projects and orders and their status and information, and also similar information for each deliverable. Perhaps we also want to see an overview of all critical risk across our projects, and maybe what task work has been completed in the last few weeks. There are many different ways you can configure these reports and we have a business intelligence layer that takes this reporting even further and can be customized to your needs. As the data is in Hydra, you can easily identify gaps in business critical information, such as completed deliverables that don't yet have a billing reference. We could also integrate to another system to automatically populate financial information when something's been billed, as an example. So that's been a brief introduction to Hydra and an exploration into how revenue assurance and revenue forecasting can help with the visibility and tracking of revenue across your projects and orders. We've looked at many aspects that make Hydra unique. By capturing data and streamlining the order lifecycle, blueprinting your best practice 
and complementing your process with knowledge and governance. And we've also seen how a robust and easy to use interface allows you to control and track not only your projects, but the deliverables such as an ERP server that you're working on for your customers as well. I hope this has been a useful introduction to some Hydra concepts and features, and we're available whenever you need to take any questions you may have on anything you've seen. Thank you.